Okay, so we're going to start a project that has to do with uh, cardboard printing. And actually, we're not going to print with this. I have in the past done so that we actually print it afterwards. Um, what we're going to do is just go with just the cardboard by itself and paint it afterwards. These, the ones that I'm going to show you real quick here, are all black. Uh, you can imagine color on these. Um, we'll go for that this time. The printing just wasn't really transferring as good as it should. If we had oil-based prints in here, that would be okay. But since we don't have oil-based inks, um, the water-based just wasn't really working out. So I'm just going to show these really quick on here. Um, the thing that we're going for is so that you can have multiple levels to what you're working on, which is wonderful with the cardboard that you actually get the little corrugated part on the pieces. You also get the piece that's upright and then the piece that is um, when you cut all the way through. Thank you. So these are just a few of the ones that have been done in the past. So pushing those off to the side. How you do this then is um, pretty simple basically, but what I want you to do is spend time on actually coming up with your concept of what you want to do. Uh, you could look at a picture on your iPad if you want to for some ideas. I'm just going to do a quick beach scene here real quick. So uh, we can write on this because you're going to paint over top of it afterwards. So just putting these in where they should be. Alright, and I'm not going to go too far on this, but just to give you the idea of what we're going to be doing. So, draw it out first, and then from there, off the end of this one. Okay, and then from there we go in and cut. I'll just put the umbrella in over top of this one first. You can graph this if you want to for uh, doing your cutting, or for doing your drawing, I'm sorry. Or if you freehand it, you can do that. Just keep in mind you can erase on it as long as you're working with pencil on top of these. So put in the spokes. and then working out from the top. And it overlaps a little bit in the front here. And the beach itself comes part way through here, the water to the oops, horizon line to the water. And coming across there, and then the beach line comes down inside too. So now what I need to do is make a decision of what is going to actually be a uh, corrugated part, what is actually going to be the part that is uh, is going to be the up part or the down, all the way down to the edge. So, okay. That's the basic idea. All right. Now, when I go into cut, you have the exacto knives, which you used on the last project. So with the exacto knives, this time you need to make sure your knife is actually in cutting mode. So make sure that the blade is facing downward when you're doing this. Um, I'm going to do the back of the chairs as corrugated. So to get them to the corrugated part, I'm going to cut through the layers. It's <laughs> a little bit is much sharper. If you run into a dull blade, let me know. I can switch out blades for you. Make sure that you're not tapping these on a surface or anything that's causing problems um, with it. With the corrugated part then, I'm going to use the back of the knife to pull up a corner and start peeling. Now, please make sure that these peels don't end up all over the floor. That's the one thing about this project is that they tend to get pretty messy all around. You do actually have to kind of follow this down a little bit and keep peeling. Please make a little pile off to the side of whatever you're working on. So the backs be corrugated or actually now that I'm looking at this once the corrugator is out of there, now I'm thinking that because the lines don't really match with the, the angle of the back of the chair, I think I'm going to actually take this out instead. 
So I'm going to do this guy leaving it the corrugated then instead because the back right now the the lines lean on the back of the chairs and right now these are going straight up and down which don't really match so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I cut through the corrugated part and I'm just gonna pull the corrugated out of there so one more cut hook the corrugated part and give a pull out to all of it so you just you have three layers to kind of mess around with the only thing is, once you take the corrugated out, you can't put it back. So make sure you've kind of thought this through of what's coming out and what's going in. You can add, I'm just quick on this one that was left here, um, you can add in framing to things if they don't quite go out to the outer edges. So this one made sense to kind of get a frame around the edge here. So I'm just going to peel out this part around here. I already made one cut mark to it. Uh, and then all we're do is after you get your your parts cut out here and some will be you have three layers to work with the top layer the corrugated and all the way through down in so once you get that all figured out then you can go back and use temper paint and just paint in whatever colors you want to paint it would just use it as a surface for kind of a canvas basically um, it's just that you have the the parts to go around on this with corrugated or not okay questions